Before you assemble your unit, you need to measure the floor to the ceiling height. You need a minimum ceiling height of 2 meters 200, as it says here. The ceiling height is required for when you stand your unit up. Because when you stand it from here, when you've assembled it, up like this, the top corner could catch on the ceiling if the ceiling is lower than 2 meters 200. In this video, I'm going to be assembling a double wardrobe from the modular range. It is always advisable to assemble your unit on a piece of cardboard. This protects the side panel and the front edge of the unit when you're moving it around. Please read the assembly guide because there is a lot of information on here that will be helpful when assembling your unit. On the front of the assembly guide, it tells you what panels you have in the box, what hardware is required, and the minimum tools required to get the job done. This is box two of two. The top panels and the rest of the items that go in your wardrobe are in box one of two. So laying it out so we have the panels groove to groove. This is the bottom of my double wardrobe. It's indicated by the fact that we have two 8mm dowel holes. So first off, I'm going to be putting my wooden dowels in the base of my unit. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six I require. Don't tap them too hard in case you punch it through, but you tap it, tap it until the sound changes. Like that. I'm next going to fit my metal dowels, first one, and you literally just screw it in. Now in this unit, to help with stability, there is a back rail. That back rail goes in these points here, behind the back panel. So again, I'm going to use some metal dowels. Taking the 8mm wooden dowels, you can push them down, but it may require a gentle tap with a hammer, and you tap until the sound changes. There's two ways you can put your shelf in. You can either put it in when the unit's upright, after you've decided where it goes, or if you know where it's going to go, you can put the fittings in at this point. I'm going to put my fittings in now. I'm going to put mine in just above this position here, which is where I'm going to put my hanging rail. So you put them in at this hole here. If you choose to put your shelf in after you've assembled your wardrobe, make sure that it doesn't impede where you're going to put your hinges. So now I put the cams in. The cams themselves have an arrow telling you which way they should be put in. This arrow should always point to the outside or raw chipboard edge of your panel. Rear support first, like this. We then put it into position, like this, and tighten the cams up as I go. The base panel is indicated by the fact that it has raw chipboard on one side and only faced on the inside. So now I put the cams in. If you put the cam in wrong, you can always turn it around with a screwdriver. I'm putting it in the same panel I put my back support on, I tighten the cams up. I then go up to the top of the unit and do the top panel. Last one here, four. Cams are on the inside of the wardrobe. Tighten the cams up. Now before I put my plinth in, I need to put this plinth block in, like this. And then when I put it to the base of the unit, it goes into here, and then tightening this screw up, it is fixed into the base panel. You then put the next panel onto this unit. And I tighten the cams up on this now. I open my back panel up. I'm making sure that the pattern is to the inside. And then you slide it in like that. Using the panel pins provided, you fix your back. You can actually use the back to make sure your unit is square. So if you tack it across the bottom, like so, 
I'm going to be fitting four panel protectors. They go here, 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 and here. Not only do they protect your panel, but it makes it easy for you to move your unit around. In each double wardrobe, there are two L brackets for attaching your unit to the wall. You must attach your unit to the wall to prevent it from falling forward. So using my shelf as a make-believe wall, I then put that bracket on the unit like this, draw around the slot, and put my screw about there. The same on this end. I'm now gonna fit my shelf supports. You literally just push them in like this. Once you've got all four in, you take your shelf, and keeping the ABS to the outside edge, I'm gonna put it onto the four shelf supports that I've already pre-inserted. Put it on like that, then tap it down. And that is now a very secure and strong shelf. The hinge comes in two parts, the hinge plate and the hinge. The hinge plate has an arrow on it. This arrow goes to the outside of your unit. The hinge itself has two hooks. Those hooks literally go under there like that, and when you push your hinge back down, it clicks onto your hinge plate so it doesn't fall off. The quick release mechanism is you just push this button here and the hinge comes off. I'm going to fit the hinges to the door, and there are four hinges to a full height door. In your assembly guide, it shows you where the hinge plate should be positioned. And if you count up the number of holes, as indicated on the assembly guide, your hinge plates will be in the correct position. If you need to move the door across the unit, you turn this screw clockwise. anti-clockwise takes it back. If you want to move the door in or out, you have to loosen all four of these screws on the four hinges, and the door can then be moved in or out. And if you need to move the door up or down, you loosen all of these off on all four hinge plates, move the door up or down, and then tighten them up again. The last thing to do is to fit the hanging rail. And I'm going to fit my hanging rail just under my shelf, like this. There's a Euro screw for the top hole, and a standard screw for the bottom hole. Fix it in like that. When you have more than one unit, you should join them together and when using this type of joining bolt, you drill a 5mm hole through the two end panels and then screw in the two parts together. And that pulls the unit nice and tight. 